Favorable ocean conditions, good fisheries management, and effective high seas fishing prohibitions enforced through the NPAFC, the North Pacific Anadromous Fish Commission, have contributed greatly to the abundance and availability of Pacific salmon. This is for the benefit of the fishing communities and the ecological sustainability. Since its establishment in 1992, the North Pacific Anadromous Fish Commission has worked to prevent illegal harvesting at sea and to provide valuable scientific research for the conservation of Pacific salmon. It is a cooperation between the governments of Canada, Japan, Korea, Russia and the United States. Their goal is to rid the North Pacific of illegal fishing of salmon and steelhead and to provide a stable base for sustainable coastal fisheries well into the future. From June to November each year, high security intelligence utilizing the latest technologies and resources accurately pinpoints and investigates vessels suspected of illegally fishing for salmon. What has made these complex operations dramatically more effective is the cooperation and coordination by NPAFC members. With such an enormous expanse of ocean to monitor, effective enforcement can only be achieved by the combined efforts of the member countries. If a satellite from Canada picks up an image off Japan and Japan has some ability with an airplane to see that ship, it's conceivable that the U.S. Coast Guard could be there to arrest that ship. It's been very effective. It's perhaps the best example of international coordination of, of enforcement of natural resource uh, uh, regulations that I know of. The United States, we dedicate uh, a 378-foot United States Coast Guard high-endurance cutter for a approximately 90-day patrol each year during the high threat season for illegal high seas drift net fishing. In addition, we support the, the cutter with reconnaissance aircraft, fixed wing reconnaissance aircraft that are shore based uh, from both the Alaska, the Aleutians, uh, and in, in addition we coordinate with other uh, member countries of the MPAFC and they also provide support from their country. Violators sighted on the high seas, but not intercepted there, can be tracked and detained at port, with an example such as this occurring in Korea in 2010. Recent statistics are proving the value of the NPAFC's enforcement actions in the protection of salmon and steelhead stocks on the high seas. Our statistics shows that the number of boats we detect is decreasing dramatically and the number of perpetrators therefore have been on uh, the decline, which is another way of saying that uh, Russia and other convention parties uh, who have waters which are home to inadvertent fishes much better retain uh, those stocks. The NPAFC also provides scientific research on salmon biology, migration, and ocean distribution of stocks. The research improves enforcement efficiency and provides a basis of salmon run forecasting. Understanding the impact of future changes in climate and ocean conditions is imperative in monitoring salmon populations, the dynamics of growth and mortality, and their migration paths in order for them to be better protected. Utilizing a multi-phased planning effort, member countries gather information on salmon migration routes, seasonal environmental trends, and economic conditions. They then position their enforcement assets in the areas where they're most likely to encounter illegal fishing. The NPAFC enforcement protocols have been successful in protecting salmon and steelhead stocks on the high seas. It's crucial for the sustainability of salmon and steelhead to ensure that illegal fishing be prevented. The NPAFC brings together the five member countries successfully united in a common goal, eliminating illegal fishing for Pacific salmon on the high seas. Healthy salmon stocks benefit the numerous fishing communities around the North Pacific. Continued vigilance by enforcement agencies and the dedication of scientists will contribute to the preservation of salmon stocks for future generations.